So picture this, you're a copywriter who's just trying to get their first gig, but you're having a little bit of a tough go at it. So what do you do? Well, you hear all these people talking about how Upwork and Fiverr are garbage, they're trash, can nobody actually get clients on them? And then you decide to set up a profile anyways, because maybe you'll get it, maybe you won't. You end up actually getting a few deals. And one day you apply to this job thinking that you pretty much don't have a chance, but you do it anyways, because why not? And then next thing you know, you are working for legendary nine-figure entrepreneur Ty Lopez. Well, this was the reality for my man Kevin Wagner, my student. And the funny thing is that he didn't even know who Ty Lopez was while he was applying for that position. Funny thing is, bro, until this point, I never knew about Ty Lopez before. Like I never, he's like a meme and everything on the internet. Everyone know, knows him. I never heard from that guy. I didn't know who Ty Lopez was. So because this is one of the biggest recent wins in the server, and because I recently did another interview with my other top student, Zenos, who did $18,600 in one month, I just knew that I had to do an interview with Kevin and give you guys some of the secret sauce that he spilled on the call. So here are the three biggest lessons that I attained from this interview that will give you a better chance at landing your next nine figure copywriting client. So the first lesson is that despite what everybody will tell you or what you're led to believe, freelance websites just like Upwork and Fiverr are actual viable options for getting clients. Let's see exactly what Kevin has to say about it. I mean, I don't want to say there's no competition. There's still there's still really a lot of competition, a lot of good copywriters, a lot of cheap copywriters, but there is so much opportunity because the people that are on there are like already warmed up. And if you have a good profile, if you have a good person personalized it, it's called like cover letter so if you basically have a good strategy how you can apply to jobs and have a good profile upwork can be really really good you can still land really good gigs through upwork but i wouldn't recommend to just do upwork and neglect the rest because you can do everything like you can do many things at once and just basically spray like your chances, your opportunities. Now look, even I'm guilty of telling everybody to stay away from freelance websites because they are known for people just looking for workers overseas that they can just pay $3 an hour. But although there are people on there like that, there are also high level entrepreneurs who are looking to actually get good copywriters that they are willing to pay. But Kevin wasn't only able to just make them work, he was also able to actually flourish on these freelance websites and now he's just getting client after client after client, especially because he has worked with Ty Lopez before in the past. He can put that on his little Upwork cover letter. And so you're probably thinking, okay, but like, why does this work? I mean, why can people actually get copywriting clients through Upwork and Fiverr? And the reason is because everybody has been being told that email outreach is the way. You have to do email outreach. You have to send out these cold emails. I mean, all these copywriting courses and programs give out these email templates that you're just supposed to send out to businesses and get clients with. And because these freelance websites are the underdog and nobody actually pays them any mind, the competition on them has actually gotten lower. Now, of course, like Kevin said, there is still some competition, but it is much, much lower than it used to be. Which leads me to my second biggest lesson that I learned from my boy Kevin Wagner's interview. And that was that it turns out you don't actually have to get on sales calls with copywriting clients to work with them. Now, it just seems like Kevin's breaking all the rules, but according to him, it is actually true. Take a look. In in the past, whenever I had like a lot of calls, like I wouldn't say I had hundreds of calls, but I did have a few sales calls in the past. But whenever I started working with a client, this just came to me like months ago. I never hopped on a call with them before, like all, all but one maybe. But most of my clients that I signed I never hopped on a call with them. So because my boy Kevin was actually able to build trust with his freelancing profile on Upwork, it made it kind of unnecessary to actually hop on calls with a lot of his clients. And I know that this will be a big relief for a lot of people because I know me especially when I was first starting out, the biggest thing that I was nervous about was actually hopping on these sales calls with businesses and with clients because I was the type of person 
who was just very introverted. I would literally try to do anything possible to not get on the phone. I wouldn't want to get on the phone to order food. I wouldn't want to get on the phone to call a mechanic or anything like that. Okay. So when it came to actually taking sales calls, I was nervous. I thought, well, what if I, what if I say the wrong thing? What if I bomb? What if they ask me a question and I don't know how to answer it? Well, as it turns out, getting on calls is not necessary, especially if you're using these freelance websites, mostly because you can actually build your accolades and get people to trust you without having to get on a call with you, which perfectly leads me into my third lesson that I learned from the interview with Kevin Wagner. You see, one of the biggest reasons he was able to land Ty Lopez as a client, and one of the biggest reasons he's able to land as many clients as he wants now is because he worked for Ty Lopez and because he was able to build his accolades and build his copywriter clout. Why don't you take a look? After being on Ty Lopez's team, I felt like I was playing the game on easy mode because you could just mention in any in any application that I wrote in Upwork because my profile was building as well. Now I have like a template for my Upwork outreach. I have like, hey, I'm direct response copywriter for Ty Lopez. Help this guy do that. Help, help this guy do that. Also throw in a few case studies. Be like, hey, I'm, I'm sure I can help you with this. Boom. And I get like the reply rates just went up like crazy. Like I get so many more replies, so many more people want to hop on a call. And it even got to a point where I didn't even like send applications through Upwork, but people would message me and be like, hey, would you be interested in doing this and that for me? Like my, our company is looking for a copywriter to do this and that. And it's why they have so much trouble closing bigger clients. And especially now, I mean, Kevin can literally say, hey, I've worked with nine figure entrepreneur Ty Lopez and literally not only does he have all of these companies reaching out to him, but if he ever applies, his resume is going to get to the top of the stack every single time just because of his copywriting clout. All he literally has to do is just exist and he'll have businesses reaching out to him on those freelance websites. And as a copywriter, you can essentially do the exact same thing. For example, here's a quick picture of my student Zenos doing something very similar. As you can see, he was saying that he was getting a whole bunch of inbound leads after he went ahead and set up his Instagram profile. And see, here's the thing. A lot of copywriters come to me and ask, do I need a website? Do I need to set up a website with a portfolio and a schedule and all this type of thing? And the answer is no, not at all. You could just set up an Instagram. And that's what most people do. And that's how most people actually find success. So you can either go on these freelance websites and build your acc accolades, or if you want, you could also do the exact same thing on Instagram. And when building your copywriting accolades, you need to understand that people judge based on a look. There's a reason why people always say don't judge a book by its cover. It's because people already do judge a book by its cover. And sure, maybe that's not what people should do, but it's what they do. I mean, people are going to care greatly about who you've worked with and how much revenue you've been able to get for your previous clients. They care about those two things a lot more than they just care about what your skills are. Because here's the reality. Everybody can tell you that they can make money, okay? I've worked with tons of people in the past. I've worked with video editors who send me samples, and then once I start working with them, their editing is dookie balls. And I've also done the same for graphic designers, for copywriters, and pretty much every other position you can think of. So your clients are going to be very, very skeptical of you and rightfully so. And the best way that you can essentially instantly make them fall in love with you and your copywriting abilities is by having the accolades to back them up. And if you have accolades and the next lesson that Kevin actually shows, well, you're going to do very, very well as a freelance copywriter, because here's the fourth bonus lesson that I learned from my boy, Kevin. And that is that he actually polished his copywriting skills and he committed to becoming a full-time copywriter. Why don't you watch what he had to say? It didn't take a lot of time. Like I signed the first client pretty quickly, then I got my second client. And then after that was part of the email list, then I saw your offer for the 4D Academy. And at that time I was already like, okay, I wanna get into copywriting, but I, I didn't, like I wasn't fully committed yet. Mm -hmm. I was like, let's just you know try it let's do it a little bit everyone knows nobody n nobody will be successful like that yeah. so i was like i need something to commit myself i was already watching courses on skillshare but i felt like they were not really good quality 
Then I saw your 4D Academy. I joined for the trial and I, I really liked it. And then after that, I was like, okay, boom, I will, I will get into this. This is like probably the best thing I can, I can get. You see, one of the biggest problems that most copywriters have is that they're only half committed. One foot on the gas, one foot on the brake, one foot on the boat, one foot off the boat. But what Kevin did was he put his money where his mouth is. He invested in himself and he actually did the work that it takes to become a full-time freelance copywriter. Guys, just because he got clients in an unconventional way and he used some unconventional aspects, don't think that it didn't take him hard work to actually get to where he's at today. Because I see it time and time again and I've literally lived it myself. Once you actually start taking the steps to invest in yourself, you start getting consistent and you start putting your all into this copywriting thing, all of a sudden, every single roadblock that you usually have is now gone. So look, guys i don't know about you but kevin definitely dropped some value bombs on that interview if you guys agree make sure you let me know down in the comments and of course congratulate my boy kevin on landing a legendary client like ty lopez and if you're interested i'm going to throw up the other interview i did with my top student on screen now you can watch that after this video and of course i'll also throw a playlist of some free courses up as well anyways guys that's it for now of course i will see you guys on the next one peace